Chamber Choir Concert coming up. Good morning. It's Thursday, October 8th. I'm Rebecca Wolfley. And fame is coming to Jeff I. Good morning. I'm Dakota Tabor. The JHS Report is coming up. The Jeff I Theater is presenting fame later this month. Reporter Kevin Hawkins has more. JHS Theater season kicks off with the 25th anniversary production of Fame. I got to speak with the director, Miss Patty Miller, to find out what all the hype is about. Miss Miller, the original first play of the season was Night of the Living Dead. Why the sudden change? Well, um, Great Escape Theaters called, contacted us to see if some of our students might like to perform at Great Escape Theaters uh, for the new release of Fame, the, the 2009 version. And after thinking about it, and this being the 25th anniversary of our show here that was the world premiere, it just sounded like the time would be right, and I thought the students would enjoy it. All right, what exactly is Fame about? Fame is a story of performing arts students. Um, in, it's set in New York City at the performing arts school there. Um, but it's really the story of any performing arts student, anyone who's passionate about the arts. All right, and what are the show dates? The show dates are October the 15th through the 18th, um, Thursday and Friday and Saturday is at 7.30, and Sunday the 18th is at 2 p.m. And how much exactly are people going to have to pay to come see the show? Um, t we've lowered the ticket prices this year because of the state of the economy and student tickets now are only five dollars. The adult tickets are ten but there will be ample opportunities for them to save money through group discounts and special days. Come support the JHS Theater by seeing a production of Fame. For the WJHS Report, I'm Kevin Hawkins. Larissa Williams has been chosen as the academic advisor for the athletic department. She will be in charge of all academic oversight for athletes in and out of season. After school tutoring continues today in the library from 2.20 to 3.20 for anyone who needs academic assistance. Mr. Murphy will be supervising and helping students. October driver education students may pick up their pink code from Ms. Kendall before school, between classes, or after school. You will need this form to get a permit at the License Bureau before October 19th. There are no more spaces left for driver education class in October. Students vote for Teacher of the Month this week at lunchtime. Forest teachers have been nominated for the award, and students will pick who will be the Teacher of the Month. The winner will be announced Tuesday, October 13th. To get your announcement on the WJHS report, simply fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email Mr. Gross, and we will do our best to make sure that announcement gets on the air. We will have your JHS weather forecast plus your latest Jeff Sports after the break. Hungry? Why not try Moby Dick Seafood, 1700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Voted best seafood in Clark County. Enjoy a codfish sandwich with hand sliced and breaded onion rings seven days a week. Dine in or drive through. A clean, comfortable restaurant for the entire family. Open till 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday. 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop in and have a whale of a sandwich. Good morning, I'm Sherelle Williams with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, showers early with isolated thunderstorms arrive in the afternoon, high 72. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms, low 69. Tomorrow, thunderstorms in the morning, overcast during the afternoon with occasional rain. A rumble of thunder is still possible, high 71. One to two inches of rain expected. Locally, heavier rainfall is possible. That's a look at JHS weather. Now here's JHS Sports with Preston Ezell. Good morning, I'm Preston Ezell with JHS Headline Sports. The Jeffersonville boys tennis team won their first round of the regional on Wednesday evening, beating New Albany 4-1. All four of their wins came in straight set victories. The finals of the regional will be held Thursday afternoon at 4.30 p.m. at Silver Creek. Jeff will play Silver Creek, a team they beat 3-2 earlier in the season in a closed match. Winners for Jeff were number one singles Patrick Elliott, number three single Jordan Rigsby, number one double Shane Burke and Joseph Nikitas, and number two doubles Ryan Lewis and Dan Ott. 
Any junior or senior girl interested in playing powder puff football needs to pick up a packet in the front office. Sign up forms must be turned in by today. The game is scheduled on Wednesday, October 21st. Anyone interested in wrestling should see Coach Struck in room C-207 or show up to weightlifting on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Softball conditioning will begin on October 27th. Anyone wanting to participate in conditioning must turn in physical form. Please see Coach Schaefer in room D-209 for a physical form or more information. That is it for Jeff High Sports. Stay tuned. A final word from the news desk is next. Finally today, we will run birthday greetings on the WJS Report. Simply bring six pictures and $5 to room 713 at least a day in advance. Now you're up to date with the latest Jeff High News. I'm Dakota Tabor. And I'm Rebecca Wolfley. From all of us here at WJHS, have a great day. And remember to do your part to make Jeff High School the best school. And thank you for watching the JHS Report.